Hey guys, good morning. I have promised you a comic lettering tutorial for a really long time. And the reason I've delayed is it be because it requires me to record my desktop. And I'm a little less savvy with doing that than I am with recording um, traditional media using a camera. Oh, awesome. I, there we go. Uh, so today I'm going to be lettering the pages from Cicada Summer. And the first thing I do is I open up Photoshop. And I'm going to open up the big files, the finished, well, they're not truly finished, but the pages that are mostly finished. And um, pardon me if I have like a hard time talking and doing. I think those of you who are a fan of the channel know that that is something I struggle greatly with. So I have brought up the color corrected scan. You can check out the blog for a tutorial on how to color correct for black and white. Um, if you guys are really interested and you find that uh, tutorial to not answer your questions, I can do a live demonstration at some point. And next I'm going to open up the blah, 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 the, I want to say the blue line roughs. Let's see if these are the ones that I lettered. No, that is the roughs from my thumbnails. So I want to open, this must be it because I did pre-lettering in order to determine how much space I'm going to need. And what you guys cannot see is I've got my script in front of me as well as my pages with my notes. Make some room on my desk. So you guys can see how I sort of pre-lettered on top of my rough. That was to give me enough room to, um, to, to figure out like how things were going to be lettered. And I've just pulled out my script. So let's see if I can juggle two things at one time. That's very difficult for me. Um, Go ahead and move that over into, thankfully I'm on a nice big monitor. So um, I have plenty of room. If I was doing this on the Surface Pro, it would be really hard for me. I wanna make sure I'm on the correct. And I'm going to put all of my background art and corrections in their own folder. Or at least I thought I was gonna. Oh, really? Okay, fine. I'm not going to put them in their own folder because they refuse. Anyway, um, and I, I like to use Anime Ace for my non-commercial projects. It is a Blam bot font. Um, and I really enjoy their fonts. Uh, Nate Picos does a really good job um, creating fonts and I do a really crummy job hand lettering. So um, I do, for my, um, for a lot of my not seven inch Kara projects, I do use his fonts. And there are several that are available for use for free with personal and self-published projects. So we've got our first bit of text. Now we need to format it. And one of the things that is always a problem for me is um, I just always seem to do my text too big. Like I know it's a problem, but um, it's just one that I may forever struggle with. And that's why I don't like, I call this hard lettering where your lettering is basically an integral part of the page. Um, so where all of my borders and balloons are, I can't move those. And I letter in a completely different way for Kara. And 
and this is the first page so I'm sort of trying to hit a groove with this where it will fit into the space I have and I am by no means a lettering master it is something I actually struggle with So you guys are going to see me make a lot of mistakes and corrections and I might get really quiet because I am trying to get this figured out and I have, like I keep telling you guys, <laughs> I feel like I keep need to make apologies for this, I'm sorry. It's because a lot of artists on YouTube will actually do um, voiceovers of their art after they've finished it and I like to do it while I'm working on it because things come up while I'm working on it that wouldn't otherwise come up if I were watching it in post and narrating over that. But uh, it also <laughs> makes it very difficult for me to think. So um, I apologize if there are long, boring silences. So things you definitely do not want. Do you see how this Mississippi is hanging? We need to find a way to get a substantial amount of text that makes sense on that bottom line. So Mississippi isn't cut off this way and it's not the only word on that line either. But unfortunately, it also needs to fit this pre-drawn text box that I can't resize because it's part of the page art. So it's going to take a lot of finagling. Oh, and I already see an error, a typo. That's good. Good that I caught it. And one there too. Right now, this text is left justified. We may get a better result if we do middle justify. Oh no, probably not. That's gonna require messing around with it too.
That's a little bit better. All right. Put those in their own folder called narration, just to try and keep things tidy. And start a new folder. And since P is the emphatic word here, are we getting close? I have to pee. Um, I went ahead and bumped it up to a larger size so it is more likely to catch the eye. Go ahead and pop that text into a folder. And this will make it easier because I'm going to pass this by a couple of people to proofread it for me before I send this off. So um, by sorting everything, it's going to make it easier for me to make corrections if I need to. And usually it takes me a little while to get into a lettering groove. This is the first page I've lettered in a little while. What's funny is by the end of the chapter, it's usually a cakewalk. Like once I'm 10 pages in, it's like, oh, this is so easy. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Now, I'm not entirely happy with how this speech balloon is dutched, and I think I intended to letter this by hand, and unfortunately, on this computer, that is not an easy option for me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the parent layer that that balloon is on, and I'm going to select it. And I'm going to use transform to fix the dutching just a little bit. That looks better. Too big. 
is another bubble I'm not super happy with. So again, back to that parent level. Let's see if we can't budge this a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna use the magnetic lasso and not the, or polygonal lasso, there we go. And I'm going to try to trim as neatly as I can. At this point, I would prefer not to have to do too many art corrections because that means switching computers. Actually, the smart thing to do is to cut it out. So control C, backspace. Oh, I made corrections on another layer. Oh, okay. All right, well then never mind. Just gonna have to deep roll with it. Or try to fix it on another computer at a later point. So that is the majority of page one. It's starting to look like a comic page. So I'm going to put all of the text in its own folder. There we go. And let's try getting that art in its own folder as well. Yes, haha. <laughs> okay, so I am going to copy the art folder. Actually, maybe I should uh, save that until I can get this balloon fixed. Cause um, yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so uh, I am going to now save this but I want to save it in its own folder um, because I just keep making folders as I work on these projects. So, new folder. Save it as a PSD so I can make corrections and then I'm going to save it as a JPEG so that I can send it off for critique and it actually doesn't have to be a high quality JPEG um, if you are short on space you can save it lower because really um, what you want them to be critiquing is not like nitpicking the art at this point it's a little late for that unless there's just something like glaring and horrendous that needs modification um, you just want them to critique uh, the narration and the dialogue and maybe make easy suggestions for dialogue fixes and um, maybe suggestions for like realigning the text if it doesn't isn't working or if it's confusing. And at this point, there's really only so much you can do to make corrections. So, you know, <laughs> you can really uh, make yourself sick trying to fix something that is just kind of beyond that point. So that is page one of Cicada Summer Lettered. Now I only have 12 more to, I mean 11 more to go. Um, but I hope this gave you guys a good idea of 
how I letter digitally or a way that one can letter digitally. And I'll try to record lettering process for 7 inch Kara chapter 6 as well because I use a different process for that. So um, that, you know, I have to pr pursue that in a different fashion. Sorry, trying to get my pages all organized while also talking to you guys. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to get on them. I know I've promised you guys this, this tutorial for a really long time. So um, hopefully it was worth the wait. Um, and uh, if there is any other sort of art and comic tutorials you would like to see in this channel, let me know that as well. If you enjoyed this video, please do remember to leave a like. That encourages me to make more. And to share this video with your friends. I'm trying to grow this channel, and the best way I can do that is with your help and your support. If you're looking for more comic craft tutorials, please head on over to www.natosoup.blogspot.com. If you're looking for comic resources, my friend Kabocha makes these wonderful Photoshop and paint, Clip Studio Paint slash Manga Studio brushes that replicate Japanese tone. So if your webcomic project is sort of manga or pulls from manga, that would be a wonderful resource to check out. And that's at shooting-stars.org. Or you can find her on her DeviantArt, which I believe is like Kabocha-chan. Um, and if you enjoy my art, please do check out my webcomic, Seven Inch Kara. It's the delightful story about a diminutive little girl named Kara who meets humans for the first time and has big adventures in a big backyard. And uh, if that isn't enough to sell you, it involves cat writing because that was always my complaint with Tiny People Stories is that there was a thousand and one percent not enough cute animal writing. So Seven Inch Kara remedies that. And you can read that beautiful watercolor web comic either yourself or with someone you love at 7 inch Kara 7 I N C H so number 7 I N C H K A R A dot com or if it's handier for you you can go ahead and follow it on tumblr at 7 inch Kara dot tumblr dot com so thank you guys so much for watching I hope this video helped you out and I can't wait to see you guys again really soon I hope you have a great day bye